Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Xiaomi Fi, and today we're looking at the all new Xiaomi Mi Band 5. I've got a few here and I've been playing around with it. So, is it a big improvement over the Mi Band 4? Huh? Let's find out. Let's go. In the box, you'll find the new magnetic charging cable, the Mi Band itself, and some instructions, and that's about it. The Mi Band 5 is pretty much the same size as the Mi Band 4, being approximately 46 by 18 by 12.5 millimeters in size and weighing in at only 11.9 grams. It's got a 1.1 inch AMOLED touch display with a resolution of 126 by 294 pixels with a 16 bit color range and a brightness of 450 nits. Quite bright. On the front, below the display, it's got a single touch input button, which is still pretty much the same. On the inside, it's got a 125 milliamp hour battery, which should give you up to about 14 days of battery life or 20 days when it's in its battery friendly mode. And it can be charged uh, to 100% in about two hours using the new magnetic charger on the back of the Mi Band. Pretty nice as you no longer will have to get the band out of the strap to charge it. It's got Bluetooth 5 connectivity to connect to your phone, a high precision six axis sensor to detect movement and for step counting, and it's got a PPG heart rate sensor with uh, a lot of improvements and a vibration motor to alert you of incoming notifications on your wrist. It comes with 512 kilobytes of RAM, 60 megabytes of storage, which is actually the same as on the Mi Band 4. And just like on the Mi Band 4, the Mi Band 5 has a 5 ATM waterproof rating, so it can be easily used as a swimming tracker. The installation is the same as other Mi Bands. You can pair it with your phone using the Mi Fit app, and once it's paired over Bluetooth, you can uh, change some of the watch settings from the app on your phone, and you can synchronize all the sports activity data, sleep data, stress level data, and heart rate data to the phone so you can keep track of it. So here you can see that I've done several activities today, and it keeps track of everything, how many calories you've burned, and all that data you can sync every single day so that you get like a graph of your improvement and uh, you can keep track on how you're moving. And besides that, you can set which apps you want to send notifications to the Mi Band, set up call reminders, alarms, set the heart rate monitor and sleep tracker, and which of the Mi Band's apps you want to show in the quick access shortcuts menu. You can set the vibration, um, weather location settings, and download additional watch faces. The global version has some different watch faces than the Chinese version, and there's a lot to pick from though. Here on the Chinese version, I even have a bunch of SpongeBob ones. The Mi Band itself is pretty similar in functionality to previous generations, but it does have some new features. When raising your wrist, you can uh, wake up the screen, and from the watch face, you can swipe from left to right or right to left to slide through its shortcuts. That's actually kind of new. Per default, it shows you just a few, but you can entirely customize this from the Mi Fit app to show notifications, weather, heart rate data, and a whole bunch more. These are basically just quick access to the watch's apps because when swiping up and down from the watch face, you can access all the apps from the watch. It's got exactly the same apps as on the Mi Band 4, including the step counter, heart rate monitor, notifications, weather, stopwatch, and all the other stuff like controlling the music on your phone. But there's a bunch of new features. It now comes with a stress level monitor, which calculates your stress levels. It's got a menstruation cycle monitor, psychological activity indicator, a breathing exercise to help you relax, and you can actually use the Mi Band as a wireless shutter control for the camera on your phone. This does not give you a live preview on the band, but it does allow you to set up your phone on a tripod, for example, and use the band as a remote shutter. The cool thing is that it does work on both Android and iOS. Last but not least, there's the fitness tracking menu. From here, you can uh, track a whole bunch of exercises uh, using the Mi Band. This has got running, cycling, rowing machine, but also yoga, rope jumping, pool swimming, and freestyle fitness. So let's try it out again. And I've set it to track my indoor swimming, after which I can set the pool size, so I can track the amount of laps that I've swam, the distance, and how many calories I've burned. And again, the Mi Band seems to hold up in water just fine again. And the tracking seems to be quite good and quite accurate. So water testing approved. The Mi Band 5 also got a step counter and now has an idle notification to notify you when it notices that you've been sitting too long. 
When long pressing on the watch face, you can select one of the synchronized watch faces that you can sync from the MiFit app. And when pressing on that settings button, you can actually change the widgets that each of these faces show. So you can uh, select to show the weather instead of the step counter if that's what you want. This is still the same like we've seen on the Mi Band 3 or 4, but there are some improvements on the 5 though. It has a ever so slightly bigger screen, a slightly different set of sports trackers, 50% more accurate heart rate sensor, it's got that idle notification letting you know that you should stand up, 24 hour sleep monitoring which is 40% increased in accuracy, it's got breathing exercises, the menstrual cycle tracking, it's got the phone shutter controller, stress level monitoring, the PAI tracking, it's got an improved magnetic charger and it feels a little bit lighter in weight. And even though the battery capacity has stayed the same, the display's color bit depth went from 24 to 16 bits, which is a little bit odd but not really that noticeable. And it's got a lot of strap collars that Xiaomi now makes as well, so that's kind of fun. And then there's also an NFC version of the Mi Band 5. This comes with a multifunctional NFC reader for metro or bus cards and payment options. And it's got a built-in speaker and microphone. So in China, it comes with Xiaomi's Xiaoi smart speaker built into the watch. The NFC version is not yet available, but should be available soon. And I believe it should be released outside of China as well. So your first question might be, can I use the strap of the Mi Band 4 on the Mi Band 5? And the answer here is, well, no, it does kind of fit, but it slightly sticks out of the top, so it's not a perfect fit. So I would say no, it doesn't really fit that well. In China, the Mi Band 5 came out in the Xiaomi store for 189 RMB, which comes down to around 26 US dollars. And Xiaomi will start selling the global version soon. NFC version will come out for uh, 229 RMB, which is about 32 US dollars. And this one should also come out internationally, although I'm not entirely sure for how much it will go. So what do I think of the Mi Band 5? Well, generally, I do like the Mi Bands, especially comparing it to the Red Mi Band that I've recently looked at. I really love the Mi Bands a lot more. It has some improvements as I do like the idle notifications, um, the breathing exercise, the photo shutter control, and all the other small improvements on the internal sensors. And mostly I really like the new charging system, which is really a lot better than all of its predecessors. I do wonder why the display went from 24 to 16 bits, but as it's not that noticeable in the UI, it's kind of all right. I do like the slightly bigger screen, even though it's marginal, I really don't mind a bigger screen and it's a bit brighter and I definitely like a brighter screen if possible. I would have loved to see some smaller improvements though, like maybe slightly bigger storage space so it can hold more and colorful emoji for notifications, for example, because it's quite close to being a Mi Band 4 with several improvements, some of which are very welcome. It's not a major upgrade though. A lot of these features like the briefing exercise and the idle notifications and the menstrual cycle tracking, those are things that I actually feel could be an over the air update for the Mi Band 4 as well, because it doesn't require hardware upgrades. I mean, it's really the brighter screen, improved tracking and definitely the improved charger, which in my opinion are the biggest improvements on the Mi Band 5. So what do you guys think of the all new Mi Band 5? Let me know down here in the comments section what you guys think. And don't forget to leave a little like below the video to show me that you liked it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, well then know that you probably should. As always, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace.